Okay, so we've done the test strip, we've worked out uh, what the exposure time should be, which is the only purpose for doing a, a test strip, uh, and you can check the contrast as well obviously, but it's mainly for the exposure. <coughs> and uh, we've set the five seconds on the timer for the enlarger, you remember we were between four seconds and six seconds, uh, so two, four seconds was a bit light. Six seconds seemed a bit dark, so we've chosen five seconds. Take a piece of paper out, close the box each time, otherwise it could be quite expensive when you turn the light lights on. Um, so put the piece of paper under, it's from the same box as we did the test strip on. And now we're just going to do the five second exposure. That's it done. Okay, so we've got the exposed sheet of paper. Now it goes into the developer, the Ilford Multigrade developer. Start the clock. So it needs about a minute. 50 seconds. Into the stop bath. It doesn't need very long in the stop bath because all it's doing is changing the um, surface of the, the paper from being alkaline to acid, so it's changing the pH from alkaline to acid and that deactivates the developer. It just takes five or ten seconds at most to do that. And then just drain it for a few seconds and then put the print into the fixer. So this needs a minute in here. Okay, so that's done. Now we can put the lights on and see how well we've done. Right, here's the, uh, the print. You need to evaluate prints under white light, not safe light. And straight away I can see it's too dark. So we've got a little bit of detail in here, but that's really black. And um, there's not much in the way of brightness in here. So five seconds is actually too long. I'll bring it closer so you can you can see what I'm talking about. This area here doesn't look very bright and this area here looks too dark so uh, that's how I would evaluate it and this tells me we've overprinted this sort of area here and so does that. So we'll do another one with slightly less exposure. So I've got another piece of paper out, put it in the easel and we're going to do a 4.3 second exposure. Okay, so the print's in the developer. Keep rocking the dish. It's a minute. Uh, it's best to, to keep the, the tongs separate for each dish and you avoid any contamination. And you lift it out and then you drop it in. You don't let the tongs go into the fixer solution and then we've got separate tongs for the fixer. Keeps the chemistries in best condition. So that's a minute. We'll turn the lights on now. So this is fixed. Drain the uh, surplus fix off the surface. And then we have a, a reasonable print for just uh, a straight print. That's 4.3 seconds.